Hi everyone, welcome to Narish IT and here it is we are going to give one more one more core Java challenge core Java challenge on arrays is number 27 on arrays see the simple task in a class in a class define two methods so a common method where execution starts that is public static void main main and along with this just define one class level method or object level method it is your wish simply a class level method we are taking method name is a display consider here the ta task is what what we have to do simple in the main the first one declare an array declare an array with size array size is a 5 declare the array and next read all the elements read the elements see what type of array an integer array simple an integer array with size is a 5 and read elements read the elements using scanner class using scanner class and next one after reading the elements call display method and pass array as a parameter we need to pass see generally we know how to pass parameter values to the arguments how to pass values so general variables we are passing anyway here it is a differently we are passing array array as a parameter so we should collect that array here just collect collect the array by declaring any array type argument here we need to declare array type variable that is called argument and here it is display display all the elements all the elements of array here it is array name and here it is array name need not be same you know the basic rules here it is array variable is local to the main function is array variable is local local to main function or method anything and here it is whenever we are collecting into one array and we know that arguments of a function arguments of a method working like a local variable local variable of display method that is so here whenever we pass this value as a parameter that will come and store into this variable with the help of this variable just display all the elements that is so the task is what simply in one statement passing array as a parameter to a method please convert all these theoretical statements into technical statements technical code and comment your code thank you all